Everything is perverse. Women are choosing our leaders. They are grooming our leaders. They are creating an environment where our schools are perverted now and, and everything goes. You can sleep with who you want to. Women should literally be wearing black dresses and plum dresses at their wedding instead of wearing white dresses because it ain't nothing pure about them, right? Everything is completely out of whack and out of their purpose. Every single thing that you see happening today in society is out of whack and out of purpose. And because we have women taking leadership roles or choosing and grooming men to be whoever it is that they are today, this is why you see the takeover of what's happening in our political spectrum. This is why you see America becoming weak. This is why you see women controlling and, and making decisions of what goes on inside of the military. This is why you see women largely having leadership positions in corporate America. This is why you see uh, the alphabet community starting to take over inside of your schools and determining what it is, what bathroom you can go in. Because these are the men in today's society that was groomed by a large majority of the women that didn't allow for or, or open their legs to men um, that was a small segment of the population and had children by them and then took them to family court and then continued to destroy the fabric of what it is that we call America today. The country was built by men, but now was being taken over by women because men have largely submitted to women and they're out of their purpose. They out of their purpose. How can a woman teach a boy how to be a man? She don't even know what a man's strength is. She don't know what it feels like to be a man. She's teaching him to sit down when he pees. Everything about what it is that you see happening today is largely coming from a, from a man saying, but I love my mama, I had a strong mama, whatever. But she don't even know that subconsciously, he don't even know subconsciously, she taught him to lean into his femininity. And this is why you see people saying that I want a partner instead of saying I want a wife or I want a husband. We don't even know how to communicate effectively. We don't even know that words mean things, right? This is why you see women in leadership in churches. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Y'all want to have this conversation? We going to have it. This is why you see women in leadership positions in churches. And then they give themselves these titles, prophetess and evangelist and uh, first lady and pastor. And she up there teaching you and giving you game on the pulpit and telling you how it is that you're supposed to be doing things. Y'all don't like this. Y'all don't like this. Y'all don't want to have this conversation. This is why you largely see a majority of women in leadership positions and in the pool and the pews and in the pulpit in the church. This is why the black church is completely out of order. It's out of control. The church has been absolutely decimated within the community because you have a takeover spirit from women that are unruly and unwilling to submit to their men and wait for their husband to choose them according to the worthiness of what it is that they bring to the table. But yet you'll have Steve Harvey having a conversation with Shannon Sharp saying that women don't even bring don't even need to bring anything to the table at all. I'd be goddamned if I'm sitting there listening to my woman on the pulpit overseeing a community of people preaching and telling what my, telling my people what they're supposed to do and I'm supposed to be the head of the household. I'll be goddamned if I see a woman, uh, my woman, my wife, a prophetess, a evangelist. You don't even know the danger that awaits you. You don't know even know what it takes to be a man. How are you going to tell a man how to be a man? You don't know what it's like to have a dick. You don't know what it's like. You don't know what it's like to, to have to stand up and pee. You don't know what it's like to have to war with another person uh, for your life or to, or to be in a position where you got to provide and protect under the worst circumstances and, and, and a woman have to walk on the other side of the street because you don't even, when you see a threat walking up, you don't know what it feels like to be a man in that position. 
When you walk in, in a direction and you see a direct threat, you don't even have the instincts to think like a man because you wasn't built that way. God ain't give you that. He ain't give you that. He didn't give you the thing that you need in order to be able to properly assess when a threat is walk is coming towards you because you are not a man. I can't fucking stand when I see on Father's Day people wishing a woman happy Father's Day. You don't know what it's like to be a man. You don't, you don't know nothing. You don't have a clue of what it, what it takes to do the hardest jobs in America. But you want equal pay. You don't have a clue what it's like to have the shoulders and, and, and the back to have to withstand some of the stuff that we've withstanded throughout history. You, 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 can't, you can't even imagine what it takes to be a man. And vice versa, no man should ever be putting himself in a position to where he's trying to understand what a woman goes through. That ain't your role. That ain't your job. That ain't your purpose. Why are you trying to figure out what a woman is going through in order to try to understand her? That ain't your role. That ain't your role. Right? Pull your nuts out. Put your dick on the table. Stand up for yours. Start to be a man. Put your back into it. Stop looking for understanding from women and start to live in your purpose. And guess what? They ain't going nowhere. A guy operating in duress is probably one of the most feminine things that I've ever seen in my entire life. As though there's ever going to be a shortage of women that's waiting for you at the finish line. Ash. Some of these women in the chat is showing you right now. Fam, as you grow older, you get better. You become more successful when you do the things that you were supposed to do earlier in your life that is then going to multiply and turn into the best fruits. Later on, as you, you're, you don't even reach the peak of your earning until you're in your late 50s, early 60s. That is a fact. That is a statistical fact. What are you worried about a chick for? What are you worried about a woman for? What you think it's a shortage of them? You think that they're going to go extinct? You think every guy is already going to get them all? If you here in America, it's always going to be way more women than it is for men. Right? And, and I'm just going to tell you, uh, half of them, the majority of them that's out there available for you, you should be going ahead and, and pushing them hoes to the side and saying, I'm not really interested in having this conversation with you anyway, baby girl. Give her, give her some love, give her a hug, network with her, give her a high five, ah, and then just keep it moving. Keep it moving. It ain't never going to be no shortage of women. What you operating out of the rest for? What you think, that somebody going to get to her before you? If he got to her before you, then she was never yours in the first place. She for everybody. It's just your turn. You trying to wife up a chick that's for the streets. Bro, you got to be able to separate.